Hi again, folks, here on LibertyFlames.com. My name is Nick Pierce, and we're checking in with the Liberty men's golf team coming off a regional championship at Greensboro, North Carolina. Flames are now on to nationals for the first time in program history, and we're visiting now with Robert Carlson, a senior golfer. And, uh, Robert, first of all, congratulations on uh, tying for first individually, and what's this like now taking the team to the nationals? Yeah, it feels great because uh, this is my last year and my last chance of reaching the national championship, so it feels great right now, yeah. You guys went down there knowing that you needed to get inside the top five to get the team out to California, but then you wind up winning the thing. I mean, what what was that like? It was coming into the tournament. We we played the regionals as a team last year, but it was only me and Chase on that team. But I think we got a lot of experience, though, and Coach got experience, too. And, like, we knew what we had to do coming into the tournament, and we – I think everyone was at the right mindset. Everyone came in perfectly. Everyone was relaxed relaxed but still focused and like everyone knew what they had to do and prepare and just we knew that we, if we played well we would have a good chance of coming top five but now we play exceptional and won it so it's just a bonus everyone seemed to have that mindset coming in that like you said you guys were focused you knew that you had the ability to get to nationals but again to go out there and win the thing and hold off the charge from florida i guess did you guys know after day one that you had a chance, you know, after the strong start that you got off to? Yeah, uh, the two tournaments before the regionals. Or no, the, the first day of the, yeah, of the regional. Uh, the two tournaments before regionals, we, we've been in kind of the same position. We've been in the lead coming into the last day, and that we've gone through that, and, like, we know what we had to do, and we know what to prepare the night before, and, like, both tournaments, both the uh, – tournament and then the big south the win we had there that was a big win too and it was kind of like the same thing at regional so we we done it before and we just knew that if we prepared the same way we can do it again and we we did it yeah, florida made a, a quick ascension up the the rankings there that last day uh, you guys were trying to hold them off at the end what's going on through your minds at that point uh, actually i didn't know that they were that close really? the coach came up on 18 and told me that we were only one shot ahead of them and both me and the Florida guy I play was counter, so I was just got to make sure that I tied him or beat him on that hole so we would win. So I, I, I made a bird on the last hole, and he made a par, so that was enough. Well, now that you go on to the Riviera out in California, what, what's, what's that like for you, knowing that you're going to a, a course that so many, you know, who's who type people in golf have, have played at and won at? Yeah. Actually, I don't think uh, – it hasn't gone in right yet that we're going to go there next week. We, i still in the mindset of regionals, but maybe to the, tonight or tomorrow morning I will realize that we're actually going to Riviera, Los Angeles and Riviera, and that's, that's just an amazing place, and it's a lot of history there too, so it's going to be cool. What's it going to take for this team to finish inside the top eight? Uh, first three days is stroke play, the same thing that we've been doing in this whole semester, and we won this regional, and we know that if we can pull off three good rounds again, we got a good shot at it. But to be able to do that, we have to practice hard this week and going back to the fundamentals, chipping, putting, just do the same same thing every day and just prepare as well as we can and then see how long it takes us. What's the nicest course you've ever played on? Will this be it? <laughs> this is definitely going to be up there. I've been fortunate to play a lot of good courses, but Riviera might just be up there though. Good stuff, Robert. Again, congratulations, and thank you for the time, and good luck to you here coming up in California, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, joined now by Liberty men's golf coach Jeff Thomas as the Flames prepare to go to Nationals. Uh, Jeff, first of all, congratulations to you, and uh, secondly, just had a chance to visit with uh, Robert Carlson. He says that it really hasn't set in for him yet. Has it set in for you that this team's going to Nationals? Um, not sure yet. <laughs> it's... uh. It really had we haven't Jay and I haven't really slowed down. Uh, we were just actually met with the guys, and it really hasn't set in really. I don't think for us yet, just because we've been still running around and trying to get things done. And we're Jay was back out on the road recruiting yesterday, so I mean we haven't really slowed down since then. But I'm sure it will here in the next couple of days. But it was something that uh, we had already in our as our goals to do and to accomplish. So uh, when we were able to accomplish it, I think we just checked it off, and now we're going to be focusing on our next goal. So. To have that as a goal to finish inside the top five is one thing, but to go out and actually win the regional and beat some teams like Florida and, and a Duke that didn't even advance to nationals, uh, to beat some of those programs, what does that do for the notoriety of Liberty University? Uh, in that setting, I think it helps out. I mean, 
we, is it, we've been fortunate. You know, we, we've had a solid years the last two years. Uh, we were able to beat Florida, I think, twice already this year. Uh, so that was our third time to beat them. Actually, I think it might have been only our second time to beat them, second or third time. We've played with them three or four rounds already. Uh, we beat the number four team in the nation earlier this spring. So, I mean, it's not, and we beat Duke a couple of tournaments before. So, for us, it wasn't something that we hadn't done before. So, I think that made our guys a little bit calmer in that situation where we just focused in on more what we needed to accomplish. Uh, but for people to notice it, I think it, it does make a big difference. You know, when people, when you just take them off one at a time, people say, I don't re re realize what you did. But when you beat a whole bunch of them at a time, I think then it starts to sink in. So, it was good. Now, Robert said he didn't even realize how close Florida was until you came and told him. How close were you tracking them? Um, through the first part of the round, we really weren't paying attention. Uh, really, for the first two and a half rounds, we didn't pay attention where anyone was. Uh, we just kind of focus on where our guys are. If we need somebody that comes for us to come help them, we go help them. We just kind of focus in on them. Uh, we started looking at teams coming down to the end, and then right at the end, we knew exactly where Florida was. So probably the last two or three holes, we were really paying attention to where the guys were, and uh, we let the guys know on 18 where they stood and what they needed to do. This thing started off so well for you guys uh, after the first day. I think we're five under. And then to go into the last round and have to hold off that charge, where where did your guys really lock this thing up? On 18. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were nervous the whole time, I'll be honest with you. But, um, you know, when you're playing a qualifier, you never feel like you got it in grasp. So uh, probably with three or four holes left, we took a deep sigh. Uh, and then we realized, hey, we still have a chance to go ahead and win this thing, and that was an important thing for us to do. So we refocused in, Jay and I did, they, um, and we just refocused and tried to get the guys to say, okay, this is where we're at. Let's go ahead and let's get this last thing too. Uh, since we're already in, there's nothing to lose. So I think that was the mentality. This team's been ranked over the last couple of years, back-to-back uh, -back Big South championships, trips to regionals. Now to win a regional and take the team to nationals, to having met that goal, does this – without a doubt solidify liberty is one of the best men's golf programs in the country um i don't know if we can say that yet uh, i think i think time will tell um i think that we've prepared this this program correctly um we've taken the steps that we've needed to take and hopefully if we're able to stay strong over the next coming years you know that's something that we can say um as as far as this year is this team i think that we're one of the best teams in the nation right now um so what we need to do is just focus in on this year and focus in on trying to accomplish some more goals and see what happens at nationals. That's a good point, right? How do you refocus now that you've that you've met one of your major goals? How do you refocus and set new goals? Um, we've had a goal since uh, since September. You know, when we started practice uh, to make it to the final eight of nationals. I mean, that's what our goal's been from day one. So. Uh, for us, uh, that's what we're still focused in on. Um, you know, it was great. You know, when you accomplish a goal, that's great. And our goal is to make it to the Nationals because we can't make. If we don't make it to the Nationals, we can't get and make it the match play. But uh, since we've always had the goal to make it the match play, it's just we just stay focused in. And each guy needs to concentrate their practice this week. And I don't think it's going to be that hard to do that. You know, we these guys will still have a lot to prove for themselves and uh, as a program. And that's what we want to do. Last thing here, what does the next week hold as you get ready to go out there and before that uh, first practice round on May 28th at the Riviera? Uh, same thing that we've been doing all year and same thing we did last week. We'll just go ahead and uh, over the next, well, they probably already did it, but so the last yesterday and today, uh, guys will just focus in on where their games uh, had some weak areas uh, at regionals, uh, some areas that they feel like they need to focus in and specifically this week. And then we'll just uh, keep our practice the same and then uh, just try to build up. I, I, you know, I, I, I told Jay, our, my assistant, uh, before we were going to regionals, if we can just get through regionals, I felt like we were like a week or 10 days, two weeks from peaking. So hopefully that's still the case. You know, uh, Hopefully we're still just about a week from peaking. If we can peak next week, I'll be great. All right, Jeff, thanks a lot for the time. Congratulations again, and uh, we're all pulling for you here. Thank you very much. All right.